Data from more than 2,000 people in the Framingham Foot Study showed that 89% of adults younger than 60 years inherited their bunions. Studying the genetic links to foot disorders has important implications for patient care, according to lead investigator Dr. Marion Hannon. What are the implications of your findings for rheumatic disease patients? Patients who are in a rheumatology clinic are there for a rheumatologic condition. You can have arthritis in your big toe, and that's an arthritic condition, but primarily people are there for either uh, knee problems or hip problems and not necessarily their foot problems. But we know that the more problems that you accumulate, especially of rheumatologic nature, the more profound their effect are on that person's function as they age. So it's, again, a piece of information that the clinician can put into their overall diagnostic scheme and also their treatment scheme for the patient, knowing that they need to pay attention to their feet as well as the other things that may have brought them to the rheumatology clinic. And clinicians can definitely use this information to help their patients by knowing if a patient comes into their office, let's say a patient who's female, 55 years old, postmenopausal, has put on 10 pounds in the last couple of years, to knowing that this, this condition is highly heritable in women under age 60 says that in addition to all those other things that the clinician may pay attention to, to know that it's heritable, there are interventions that the clinician should consider for this woman. If it was a man who was, you know, 39 years old coming in, it wouldn't be as much of a heritable condition in, in that the, physician, the clinician may want to look more at the environmental factors, the shoes, the weight, the other things that cause these conditions. What are the next steps for research? The ultimate thing we're going to do with this study over the next three years, though, is look at specific genes to see if we can identify some common genetic variation to see if that's helping to explain why we're seeing such high heritability.